So we're going on a mountain run. And we've assembled a large collection of exciting cars. There's my Ferrari, some Lamborghinis, a Porsche, some more Lamborghinis, and of course, because this is Jalopnik, a Miata. So in order to go on a mountain drive, we first have to get up to the mountains, and that means we have to go in a convoy of exotic cars. Basically, it looks like a group of Skittles being carried away from a picnic by ants, going very high speed. So we made it to the mountains, but that doesn't necessarily mean we're going to be going fast. In fact, I would estimate that 99% of all mountain driving is stuck behind a Toyota Highlander going 33 miles an hour. And sometimes it's a Nissan pickup. But eventually traffic clears and we can drive at a slightly quicker pace. cars need a rest. The Lamborghinis, the Porsche, the other Lamborghinis, the Ferraris, and the Miata. Eventually we get going again. We did encounter a lot of cops, but they were primarily involved with cleaning up motorcycle accidents, which is a common thing up here in the spring. Flowers bloom, motorcycles crash into them. But it didn't deter us from having a good time. And so now we stopped at the scenic overlook to get a picture of all the cool cars parked together. After a while, we were back on the road. The drive is over and the Ferrari was flawless. 200 miles of hard driving with the AC running, rock chips getting kicked up, upshifts, downshifts, hard braking. Not a single problem. In fact, I've driven the car now 3,000 miles in the last three months and there still hasn't been a hiccup. It's been perfect. And honorable mention goes to the Miata camera car, which had no trouble keeping up with the Lamborghinis, Ferraris, and Porsches. In all, not a bad way to spend a Sunday afternoon.